because we're going to quickly tell you the story. And then, but if anybody wanted to bring that book home with them today, we have it for sale on our table right on over there. So here comes our favorite story. Many years ago, there was a gathering of animals in the desert. They were, well, they were kind of like wolves, but they were not wolves. Kind of like dogs, but they were not dogs. It was a whole bunch of coyotes. Oh, oh yes, and the coyotes love to get together every summer, and they come from all over the place. They come from down by the ocean, up in the forest, and they come from by the lakes, and they even come from the big city to go into the desert for a big coyote party. Yes! The coyote party. We're going to party. Let's have a part. Wait a minute. What? Coyote parties are really good. Yes. Party. But if we're gonna have a party, we should have we should have a contest. Ooh. What kind of contest could we have? Ooh, we could have a. What kind of contest we could do that coyotes are really good at? Let me think. Hmm. Got an idea? What can we do? <gasps> I can. Ah, oh, we got a good idea. We got a good idea. Was anybody else going to say a howling contest? Oh my gosh! That's a really good idea, because you know, we had, last year we had that pie eating contest and I got the blueberries stuck in my whiskers. And oh. I'm kind of too tired to go running. Yeah. Let's have a howling contest. Howling contest. Oh right, a howling contest yeah. it is. So they started getting ready for the howling contest. Do do do, do do do. Everybody's getting ready to start for the howling contest. Well, they started going around and they ran around. Well, they got to practice. So if some of them practiced with their brother or sister. Oh, oh, oh. And some practice quietly by themselves. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, some of them said the secret is nose to the moon. Oh. Well, other ones said it's all in the tail wagon action. Oh. Every coyote was practicing. Everyone that is, except for the little baby coyote. And he wasn't practicing. He was over at the side and he was crying. <laughs> oh, no. Well, one of his friends finally went and got his grandma. Oh, baby coyote. What? Why are you crying? How come you're not practicing for the howling contest? <laughs> Understand him? No, use your words. What's going on? Take a breath. Well, okay. No, um, uh, uh, all the coyote did get together for the um, howling contest, and they all um, practice for the howling contest, and they're all of them um, having fun in the howling contest. But nobody ever showed me how to howl, so I can't play. <laughs> You're pretty good at whining. I'm just expressing my feelings. Okay, I'm going to tell you how you can be the number one super best coyote howler in all the contests. I could be the number one super best coyote howler. I told you I don't know how to howl. Why are you teasing me? This is what I want you to do. Go into the desert and find a plant. Okay. Biggest, uh -huh. tallest, prickliest. Go to the desert, find the biggest, tallest, prickliest cabbage. And when I find no, the biggest, tallest. No, not a cabbage. Okay. Big. Tall, prickly, big tall, prickly, spiny, big tall, prickly, spiny carrot. And what I find that big tall, prickly, spiny. No, what do you think you should find? A cactus. What do you, a cactus. Go find a cactus. Why didn't you just tell me? I, okay. Uh, he was looking. He was looking. You yes. found one. Yes. Sir. Okay. Stand in front of it. Yes. Put your paws out wide. I don't have paws. I'm a coyote. Okay. Your arms. Okay. Put your arms out and okay. make. Okay. Can you guys? Can you yeah. guys? Put your paws out. Okay. Put your paws out and make your mouth little, very little mouth. And I want you to give that ki that cactus a big old hug and a kiss. And when he did, what sound do you think he made? Oh. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.